Hey guys, it's Roscoe, and on the Space Couch today, SpaceX have announced that they're going to be launching one of their Dragon 2 capsules to Mars in 2018. Now, as you know, uh, you launch to Mars every two years because of where it, both planets are in their orbit. So the Mars window is currently open, so this will be the next window in 2018. And by the way, the window after that in 2020 is when China wants to launch a rover to the moon. So anyway, SpaceX are moving ahead with their Mars plant. Elon was also saying that um, Dragon 2 is designed to be able to land anywhere in the solar system, bar the surface of the sun, um, that's got a liquid or solid um, surface, or has an atmosphere or no atmosphere. And these Mars tests are really the first time they're checking that functionality. So in due course, we would probably would see dragons at other locations also. He's mentioned Europa in the past, for instance. They will probably will become the Model T of uh, solar system exploration, I have no doubt. Now, they're teaming up with NASA. Um, what NASA are getting out of this is access to the entry, descent and landing data from SpaceX. SpaceX will get technical help from NASA. Um, this is all uh, part of NASA saying uh, it will help them on their journey to Mars, although given that that's projected for some time in the 2030s at the earliest, and SpaceX are launching in the next window uncrewed, I can't imagine it would then be the best part of 20 years before SpaceX send a manned mission. We shall see. Very likely we're going to see dragons sent out to various places in the solar system at first just as exploration vehicles in orbit landing on Europa or whatever. But he also was saying in a series of tweets that Red Dragon will inform the overall Mars architecture for, I'm not sure if it was for the MCT or for the Mars colony that's going to be unveiled in September. So I guess we'll just have to see. Very exciting times, of course. Always talk about Mars. And now we're finally doing something. This would be the largest payload uh, ever sent to Mars. I think it could carry a payload of two to four tons to Mars. But that I don't think that includes the actual weight of the capsule itself. Be packed full of instruments. Probably there'd be, even be a rover tucked in there somewhere. Be very interesting to see how much it would cost... Um, for those instruments, you know, NASA, they uh, tender out for it and they're always extremely expensive. I do wonder if they'd start using more off-the-shelf commercial technologies for something like this. We shall see. I mean, SpaceX are all about driving down the cost of space exploration after all. But yes, I wonder if they just design their own instruments or if they'll have a tender for it. Or if it'll just be like a fixed cost, shall we say. Here's a million dollars, get me a really cool camera that can take pictures on Mars. For instance, obviously it probably would be a lot more than that anyway. So yes, SpaceX are moving ahead with their plans. Um, Red Dragon is obviously is going to be launching on the Falcon Heavy, which is due to have its first flight this year. In pre and then it would be, let's see, the Crewed Dragon would be certified next year. Um, and then, obviously, <laughs> there will be the Mars launch in 2018. So, yes, lots to look forward to, as I say, very interesting times. Elon also says, yeah, um, obviously, you can go to the moon with Dragon. In fact, if you're going to the moon, you don't actually need, really, a um, hub with it. Because for that short distance, three days there, three days back, however long you're there for, assuming it's not weeks and weeks, um, the capsule would be sufficient to get you there and back for that short range duration. You couldn't go to Mars just in the capsule, you know, you'd kill each other. You'd need um, habitats and other parts of the ship for that. So we shall see. Red Dragon's going to be informing the architecture. So I'm hoping that means there's going to be a couple of Olympus modules packed with red dragons. That would be my preference, um, but we shall see what happens. I'm still pretty confident that SpaceX and Big Lot will be having some sort of partnership in due course. I think SpaceX would need that kind of technology unless they have come up with their own and with Elon Musk you never know he may very well have done. So guys that was just my thoughts on SpaceX announcing the latest step on their journey to Mars. I do wonder if um, NASA will have started their journey to Mars by the time that colony is actually up and running. 
we shall see. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content, leave me a comment or suggestion for a homey topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.